Um, I'd go on to Farwa because uh, she has done work on the creation of social collateral and creating that sense of community in a digital space. So we are also going to run out of time soon. So yeah, if you could just briefly uh, share your experience with the creation of that virtual community and how did that help in the payment of installments? So uh, yeah. two minutes for you. Yeah. So um, you know when we when we started, we I mean it is a community based product itself. The idea of committees is the reason it works is because it's a group of people put together and who the the idea they held each hold each other accountable, right? That's the offline plus that we had to bring in into the online. And you know, even when we started researching, even as we built this, we realized that there's a lot, there is groups of people out there who actually don't want to meet. They need and they need to manage this, but they're looking for for that anonymity. Um, no one knows them, you know, if you hear about, oh, you want to hide it from your mother-in-law, you sometimes want to hide it from your husband, you want to hide it from your kids, I need to manage and I need to save up for, um, uh, achieve a goal. And so um, we, we saw these groups of committees actually occurring online as well. And when we did, we said, okay, there's, there's a whole world, you know, there's multiple things. So there's a digital world that is, um, that that people are leveraging, then there is this whole form of community, this Facebook groups and communities is very prevalent in Pakistan, right? And they have been for now years. And, in the, and especially when we were earlier on, Facebook communities um, was a way for women to start reaching out and talking to one another about their problems. So it's not just about money. Communities are also about problem sharing, right? And that's all what we've also seen. Yeah, WhatsApp groups hoti thi. After these, why do these people go to kitty groups in a way? Women community where they're sharing their problems. They're asking, "Hame itna problem ho We need to. Oh, how can we save? Or hame ghar mein ye chizen hui hai. How do we achieve? You know, ghar mein hamare problems ye hain. That's why I mean, groups like, for example, Soul Bitches, Soul Sisters. Um, you know, um, a lot of these scary ami. Uh, have been so popular. And so we took from them and we learned that communities themselves hold a place and they hold you accountable because one, you start seeing networks in there. If, I, if I'm if i going to take somebody from that group, I already know that they're connected to me by three to four different groups, which means they're already being socially validated. And then that person who's managing that group that they're going to, they hold that person as, an, as a role model. So, th you know, those kind of things especially in Pakistan, become very important because reputation and how you are perceived and that social validation is enormous. Agar, you know, you, and and we, we started talking about payments and repaying, just that conversation, ke, you know, even in our WhatsApp groups or anything, oh, you've paid, oh, I've paid, and automatically the person, the other person's forced to say, oh, I've paid, I've paid, I've paid. You know, so because you see people paying, you feel that something is going wrong if you don't pay, right? And so the person, it's not about those people who are not willing to pay. Most of the time people are, not that they have a problem to pay, the con artists are the ones that are will not willing to pay. And those are generally smaller, right? Um, so that constancy and, and reminders. So, you know, we designed a few different things. One was realizing that you need consistent reminders. You also need validation. So, you know, stars, gold stars, payment meters, we started seeing very early on, you know, we saw, I saw that there was a need for this, uh, so, social validation was a very important thing, gamification, mm. how do you, how yeah. do you use that? Um, if Fitbit and other people, or other, other companies around the world are doing it. So we sort of leveraged, took things that we see as, as human needs and human nature and women sometimes feel it more and more. So you take from what other organizations, other communities, other things that you can see a parallel or or usage of your target audience, right? Um, that are appreciating, and then how can you build that into the product? And that's what we did. Wonderful. I think uh, Mario also mentioned uh, leveraging on the Kush network. You mentioned leveraging on Scary Army and all of these online groups. So they are cr crucial in driving these conversations that give comfort level to women. Uh, so that should be helpful for various businesses as well.